celebrate and welcome to another edition of Sean's Two Cents. I'm here finally with Ricky Shane Page. Finally made the California for how is it? Sure, man. It's awesome. I love California. I went to In-N-Out Burger. I know. How was it? It was, it was okay. It was okay. Not, uh, it's not like the best. If, you, if you're ever in Seattle, <laughs> yeah. go to Dick's. Oh, Dick's? Real you, good. You got to try Dick's? Yes, so for sure. But I, I tried Tommy's. Tommy's. So it was very good. Very good. Tommy's is down the corner. Chili. If you like chili oh, burgers. I passed that on the way. Yeah, here. chili. It's all good, man. But... Bar wrestling, how excited were you to debut here? Really excited. Bar wrestling's cool. I've like heard a lot about it and seen a lot about it. And, like it was cool to come out and like everybody like knew who I was. I was because I never think anybody's gonna know who I am, you know. So like it was rad. It was really you were fun. the combat zone world champion. Man. I guess you, you, you've man. been you've been in the cage death. Yeah, it was like you were in the one of the most like, craziest matches of the year. You and Hans Warner, one of the most talked about cage of death in a while, and finally a one on one cage of death. Yeah, how was it like in that structure? The arena, it, was it awesome. must have been a lot of like, it was awesome. I think it was like the first one on one since like, like, first one on one since like with the belt since like 99 or something. Yeah. Somebody said so, like, yeah, it was awesome, man. Mance is, Mance is the man, and like, wrestling at the arena is always cool. I got to main event the arena twice last year, so that's that's really cool. How special is that building the wrestling? Like, how many times did you wrestle there? And like, what, what, what does it mean to wrestle? Uh, it means a, a lot to me because I love ECW and yeah. like, I grew up on ECW. I've wrestled there three times. Nice. The first time was in like 2007. Uh -huh. And then the second time was at Progress where me and Jimmy Havoc main evented. And then oh, yeah. The third time was me and Man. You and he would have Progress on the man. You and Havoc. Fuck yeah. That was awesome. It was cool, man. It's a, That building just has like a vibe to it. So like as soon as you walk in the door, you can just kind of feel the energy. It's cool. You have a bucket list. You keep crossing things off. And you went to Japan. For sure. Death matches. Like I was watching the highlights. How was it being there in the ring with like one of the top death match guys in Japan? Yeah, it's a Takeda. Takeda's the man. Like, uh, I really want a one on one. I'm going back to Japan in March nice. uh, with Big Japan, so hopefully we end up getting in the ring together. Uh, it was cool, man. I wrestled at Cork and Hall. Like, it doesn't get much cooler than that. Like, being in Japan, I love the culture. I love the, like, just all the people there were really nice. The wrestling fans were very respectful and very cool. Like, it was, like, the coolest thing I've ever got to do. How is the deathmatch culture there compared to here? Uh, they're a little more squeamish about this stuff, <laughs> where, like, American fans are a little bit more like, oh, you're not bleeding enough. You know what I mean? I mean, but like over there, they're like they're just appreciative for everything you do. So it was really cool. It's that combat zone crowd, man. They're really hard to please. They've seen it all, so it, it gets tough sometimes. Yeah, that crowd is sometimes dead. I've been watching. I've been watching it last. No, hey, you know, I like some of the product, but yeah. the crowd yeah. takes a while. This is it's, it's just that Philly crowd, man. They've seen it all. They've done it all. Like it's just they're just a the hard nosed kind of people. So it's it's hard to impress them sometimes. Eve Eve Rust Adventures in England here and and UK and in Japan. I was the England Adventure crowd. I know you did a uh, Fight Club Pro. Yeah. The death, the death, was it? The, they they don't have that much. I think Death House was like one of the first proper death matches they've really had. I mean, Jimmy Jimmy Havoc's always been doing uh, hardcore matches and stuff, but like not a lot of glass, no yeah. like panes. Like I think the, that uh, the Death House one was the first oh, time we did, they ever did panes yeah, of glass over there. Oh shit! So yeah, so like uh, they're, the the crowd in the UK is really cool, really awesome. Yeah. So uh, they're very appreciative of it, but they they are a little squeamish about it because they've never seen it. So, but it's definitely cool doing it there too. You were you were a regular wrestler for a long time. What made you get into doing more? Deathmatch stuff. You know what's funny? The first match I ever had was a deathmatch. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, nice. in 2002, the very first singles match I ever had was uh, a deathmatch. So I just always kind of sporadically did it every once in a while. Like random places would do like a hardcore match, and I would just use light tubes or something. And then I always wanted to be in like a deathmatch tournament. And I remember you also when you were Christian Fabe, you had that match with Abyss. Yes. You, you, how was it like wrestling one of the like icons like the, um, the mainstream like ultra yeah, icon I, Abyss? I love Abyss, man. He's awesome. He's a legend, you know what I mean? And like, he's just a really cool dude outside of that. Yeah, I got to be like, he's a cool dude. Yeah, uh, he's really cool, and like, he was just really down to do whatever. And like, I've wrestled him twice now, and like, he's just a really cool dude. I love him. I'm so happy for him getting, uh, getting signed to WWE. Yeah, no, now yeah. he doesn't have to break break bones, he just <laughs> yeah. gets to relax. And you, well, you I've also, heard he's like top five <laughs> nice guy. Yeah, he's yeah, nice. he's, he's a nice, very nice guy. And you've also had a great following in Alpha One, which you can follow in wrestling on TV. You have the belt. How was it to get a following like all the way up in Canada? It's crazy, man. <laughs> like I started going there in 2014, and like it just kind of like took off and like surprised everybody. And like I think I've only missed maybe two or three shows since 2014. And like it's it, the crowd is so cool there. I love it. Alpha One's great. Like great product. They do such good storylines. Good, such good storytelling. And, we like, got to put over guys in there. What, Kobe, Durst, Kobe Durst, Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander's the best wrestler in the world. Oh, like, yeah, straight up. Fucking no doubt. Like, 100%. It, it's just, yeah. I saw him versus Ricochet there. Yeah. That match was There's, they so got, fucking They good. got Mark Wheeler. There's a new girl named Jody Threat who's doing uh, I've been really hearing good. a lot of things about Jody Threat. Uh, yeah, like, uh, 
Al 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 Alessandro Del Bruno's really oh, good. Oh, the Bruno one of the best. Yeah, definitely. Cody Lane. He's uh, he just uh, Cody Lane's killing it. Yeah. Cody Lane's awesome. He just moved to St. Louis, so he's gonna be on a lot more shows coming up. One of ACH's one. boys. Yeah. Soup and congrats to ACH. Yeah. Getting that that deal, sure. getting that money. For sure, Trevor look, Lee. for sure. Look up Cody Lane. But uh, yeah, Alpha One's awesome, man. He's such good at like developing talent and like just doing really well with young guys. And hey, they got I, they I got a great that. Booker man there. I love for that. Sure. I love that great Booker man. He's a good, good, good. Very good. A little bit of ego, but I like him. <laughs> yeah, good old Julian, the producer. He's so great. <laughs> So how do you like wrestling trios, wrestling with Cross and Scarlet? Kind of interesting uh, trio. It was, it like, was fun. It was interesting. It was fun. I like playing. Like a lot of people don't. They just think blood and guts when it comes to me. But I like playing and having fun and just doing silly stuff. I'm always down for a silly goose time. So uh, it was awesome. It was really fun and like I was way into it. Doing trios is fun. It's just like a different dynamic. Definitely. You know what I mean? It was fun. It was awesome. Are you excited for tomorrow? Like who who impressed you on this card? Like for the first time seeing her? I think I've pretty much seen everybody. Yeah, I don't think I've, I think I've, I literally think I'm familiar with every single person on the card. So that's really good for bar wrestling. Yeah, you know bar I mean? wrestling. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, Brian Cage is awesome. Uh, I love uh, Cutler. He's great. Cutler, uh, yeah. yeah. he's really good. I love Willie Mack. Willie Mack's the best. Um, yeah, it's just like, a, it was an all-around really good card. I love the Butcher and the Blade. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, Tyler Bateman's fucking amazing. Like Andy and Pepper, man. Yeah, yeah. so like, it's just, there. it's just, everything's really good. Let's well, shout out. If you're not interested <laughs> in TV high spots, your matches are everywhere. If you are trying to find your Virginia page, what matches do you recommend? I recommend you from Cage to Death. That was a great match. Uh, I love your AIW stuff's great. I love your Alpha One stuff. Definitely your Alpha Male title reign. I would say, uh, my, honestly, I would say my Zero Gravity title oh, reign. Gra oh, oh, yeah. Those I are wrestled matches. with Mike Bailey, Cedric Alexander. Oh, you wrestled with Bailey. My God. <laughs> yeah. Like, I. I learned Mark Alvarez, man. It's like crazy. This dude is awesome. Him, Mike <laughs> Bailey, fuck it. I'm yeah, watching definitely. there, tweeting in. I'm like, uh, Mike Bailey, one of the best in the world. We miss you. Like, he's still killing in Canada, sure. Europe. You're up. Sure. You got to go out of your way to check out Mike Bailey, man. If you're not, you're a disservice. Definitely anything in <laughs> Alpha One. Uh, as far as death matches go, anything Death House is really good. Uh, and TOD. Uh, 15, which oh, we're talking about. Uh, I, I don't think I've interviewed anybody from TOD. Like, how is that atmosphere like being it's, in that it's, the tournament? It's, it's like the gathering of the jugglers, <laughs> man. It really is. It's a, it's it's a whole new breed. Like, there's people that only go to TOD <laughs> that don't watch CZW that have nothing to do with CZW. They only go to TOD. <laughs> So it's like a whole new world. But the one I won was in 2016. Like that, that, that one's really good. So if death matches, I would say Tournament of Death 15, Death House. But anything regular matches, I would say go to Alpha 1. That's where my best one is. Indie Wrestling.tv in. For sure. Alpha 1, you get 23 days. That's true. And plug your merch and everything. Uh, everything's Ricky Shane Page. R-I-C-K-E-Y. There's an E in my name. Um, Ricky Shane Page on Twitter, Instagram. Pro Wrestling Tees. I got Wrestling Buddies. Like all that stuff. So you just look up Ricky Shane Page, you'll find me. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks, Appreciate buddy. it, bro. Thank you, man. Uh, RealCombatsFront.com. Savage. Stash. Check it out. And check out Beyond Wrestling. Aren't sure our territory starts in a couple months? It's true. Masada to knock on our debut show. Sure. Interesting TV. Subscribe. Peace. Check out our weekly show. You got Masada.